In this video, I'm going to teach you about all the different types of skirting board that are available. These are some of the common types that you'll find available in the UK, but you can also get these mullings in the US as well. There's a few different types of skirting board, and I'll just give you a close-up so you can see the different varieties available. Now, this isn't an exhaustive list, but it just gives you a good example of a lot of the common types of skirting board and architrave that are out there. So we've got some architraves here at the top. Architraves are normally three inches. As you can see, they're not quite three inches. They're actually two and three quarters. So always be aware there's a slight difference between metric and imperial. So this one's what we call bull nose or rounded one edge, or sometimes you even call it pencil round. And the only difference between this architrave is it's just got this little round on the top as opposed to being a square piece of MDF. A lot of these top ones are pre-primed MDF. A lot of these bottom ones are traditional softwood or what we call in the UK reds wood, which is a good sort of paint grade timber that can be painted up. Whereas the MDF is already pre-primed, so you don't actually need to paint it with a primer coat. However, MDF is more susceptible to knocks and water damage, whereas your pine skirting boards will take a little bit more hammer. So it's up to you which you choose. You need to put a bit more work into the preparation of pine skirting boards, uh, whereas your MDF skirting boards are already pre-primed. They're all smooth, ready to paint. There's a lot less prep to do. However, over time, they are a softer material and are more, more susceptible to damage. So it depends what you're going for. But if you want speed and a nice finish, go MDF. If you want long lasting, robust skirting boards, you just have to put a bit more work into the prep, put a bit of knotting on these knots, but they will actually stand up to more abuse over time. So we've got our rounded one edge. Next, we've got what we call our chamfered. Again, these are all architraves because they're all what we call three inch, although they're actually two and three quarters and actually in metric, they're 70 mil. So we've got rounded one edge, we've got chamfered, we've got what we call lamb's tongue. This is a bit of a modern lamb's tongue profile. It's got a nice chamfer there, round there, and a little quirk at the top. So that's lamb's tongue. Then we're on to some of the classic mouldings. You'll have seen this one a lot. This is Taurus. So that's a Taurus architrave. You can tell that by this bulb here. And then we've got here what we call OG or Regency architrave. Now these terms are used interchangeably. If you look online and try and find skirting boards and architrave, you'll often find these two described as the same thing because nobody knows what either of those two mouldings look like anymore. They call OG and Regency the same thing. And then moving down the board, we've got the same selection again, pretty much, but these are a five inch that isn't actually five inch and in metric it's 120. So it's always good to just check your skirting board's exact size. Although it's called five inch skirting board and three inch architrave, the actual size may vary. This is what they call Victorian mold. So that's your Victorian architrave. And again, that's a little bit, a little bit wider and that's coming in at 80 mil. Whereas your standard architrave is three inch coming in at 70 mil. So, so then you've got the same selection again. You've got an oak torus there, uh, another oak torus skirting board. You've got pine chamfered. You just see by the chamfer there on that edge. You've got pine lamb's tongue. As you can see, that's a bit more fluid and traditional compared to the MDF lamb's tongue, which is a bit more modern, sort of straighter lines and chamfers. So always be aware that your skirting boards and architraves will vary between manufacturer depending on which production line they've come off. So although it might be called lamb's tongue, the exact moulding might change slightly. So always be aware if you're connecting up to some old architrave, it's always better where you can to take the old stuff off and just fit new, then you know it's all going to match up. Taurus again, Regency or OG, and then you're moving down, down the list to some just similar sections of timber. You can actually get away with putting a two inch architrave on if you want. So that one at the bottom is 50 mil or 40, 45 mil, I think, when it's planed up. So if you only want a neat, small architrave going around your door casing, two inch will be fine. Three inch is standard for your architrave, five inch is standard for your skirting, but they do go up to seven inch and even nine inch. So again, your seven inch skirting board is 170. So it's up to you depending on what look you want. Standard is three inch architrave with a five inch skirting board. But if you want to look a bit more regal, you can have a seven inch 
or if you want a Victorian skirting board, I think they even go up to nine inch. So it just depends on your own personal preference. But that's a quick run through of all the different types of skirting board and architrave that are available to you. There are many more out there, but this is just a good example of some of the classics.